I mentioned the wind is swirling, a bit difficult for the athletes. This was Nathan Douglas in the second round, he fouled the first, needed to get a jump in. It's exactly what he did. 16 metres 27 there in the second round for Nathan Douglas. He can hopefully build on that, certainly great to see him back. Unfortunately, no Phillips Idowu. Um, not quite sure what's happening with him, but this man is the world and the Olympic champion, Christian Taylor. 16.98 in the first round. We've also got Teddy Tamgo jumping here. He's on the uh, comeback from injury as well. Taylor's struggling so far a little bit this season. Hasn't really quite come alive. And this second round, he stretched out his lead to 17 metres and 12 centimetres. So the Olympic and world champion still looking for form. Well, Tamgo, this now is round three. A massive foul in round two. He's looking very springy. Loses his balance a bit, but that is better. The world lead at the moment, 17 metres 69 from a cube, and that measured at 17.47 for Tamgo. So, can Christian Taylor respond? I kind of feel that's what he needs. Season sort of spluttering along a little bit, looking a little bit flat, no sharpness. That double arm shift into the board. Of course, 17.47 is what he's looking to be. Perhaps going a little bit high on his hop. His strength is his speed, the way he skims across the ground. And he will want to respond to Tamgo. He's never really jumped against Teddy Tamgo in full flow. Rana Ryder there has come over from the US to the UK to be one of the chief coaches here. Taylor's come across as well. 17 metres 32, a season's best. But still, what, 15 centimetres behind Teddy Tamgo. Nathan Douglas. Round four, bound round three. He's certainly looking in great shape. He's just had a horrible, horrible time with injury. Now, that is better. Better balance. We look back to 2005, 2007, a couple of silver medals in the Europeans, indoors and outdoors. 1764 his personal best that dates back to 2005 to that in Manchester actually in the British trials he's going to need to get over 17 meters he's going to be considered for selection for Moscow as I say Phillips we're still not quite sure what's happening with him Aston Morris coach there as a the season's best 16 meters and 70 for Nathan Douglas Fifth round, the men's triple jump. This is set up really nicely. Christian Taylor against Teddy Tango. Tango leading at the moment, 17.47. Taylor in second place, 17.32 from the third round. Followed that up with 17.19 in the fourth. Tango fouled in the fourth. Probably the two men who will contest the world title in Moscow. Can Taylor respond? Good balance, good hop and step. He certainly can. He came off the track in Rome. He had that look in his eyes where he didn't really know where he was going wrong, where his form had gone, but I think today in Birmingham, he may well have found it. Much smoother through the phases, much more penetration through the board. He was a bit up and down before. Sometimes you lose your rhythm, you lose the feeling. And now in the heat of competition against Tango, he may well have found it again. Oh, he has 17 metres 66. That is a big season's best. So, can Tamgo respond? Jumping immediately after Christian Taylor. He will be buzzing. High copper step. Oh, it's huge! Absolutely massive. A foul, though. You'll have one more jump left, and that, well, it was a long, long way. <laughs> Well, it was a big foul. Final two jumpers in this men's triple jump. My heart has just recovered to 150 beats per minute after Teddy Tango's foul. Christian Taylor, though, is the man in the lead with 17 metres 66, a big, big season's best. He really has rediscovered his form today. The Olympic champion will be defending his world title in Moscow. Can he go further? Well. He can't. And you could hear almost from the sound as he landed. Very slappy. It wasn't that sharp move through the ground that you need for triple jump. Losing a lot of speed. But he's going to take such confidence 
out of this competition, regardless of what Tamgo does afterwards. I'll tell you what, Tamgo's heart will be beating. No question, he knows how big that foul was. And again, just like Christian Taylor, he has rediscovered his form today. Colin Jackson tapping on the shoulder. Rodan, he is back across his nose, and he certainly is. Can he get it right this time? Tamgo, final jump for this men's triple jump. And I think that's a foul again. I'll tell you what, this guy, this is not a technical term, but he's got so much bounciness, so much energy. And both Taylor and Tamgo will move on from here towards Moscow in what could be an incredible triple jump competition. 17.47, just the one legal jump. Wasn't quite good enough to beat the Olympic and world champion Christian Taylor, who won in 70 metres 66, and the season's best for Nathan Douglas, down in fourth place.